And now stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of Sweet and the Terrible Termite. In his cave on Zero Zero Island, Scratch awoke each morning just as the first sunbeam peeked through. He would yawn, then reach for his trusty wooden club to be sure it was ready for the day's adventures. Colonel Bleat, in his laboratory, was up early, just in time to silence that noisy bird in the wooden clock before it could finish its morning call because in his little dream house, Squeak would still be sound asleep in his cozy bed. This morning, however, things began in a very different way. When Scratch yawned and reached for his wooden club, it was missing. Only a few crumbs of sawdust remained. When Bleak got up to silence the cuckoo clock, something was very wrong indeed. Only the metal springs, gears, and numerals were left. Every wooden part of that clock had vanished, even the cuckoo. Bleep and Scratch rushed to awaken Squeak, but the little puppet's bed was empty, and Squeak himself was nowhere to be found. The only clue was a trail of unusual footprints, which Bleep recognized immediately. Only yesterday in his lab, the Colonel had seen those very same footprints only much smaller in size. Following the tracks, he had discovered a tiny wood-eating insect called a termite. But Bleep was amazed to find that this particular termite had traces of interplanetary wood dust on its wings. Something strange was going on. Somehow, by some strange power, a tiny termite had grown overnight into a giant monster. There was no doubt, a wood-eating monster of tremendous size was on the loose. Poor Squeak, the little wooden puppet, had been captured by a giant termite. A terrible termite. The colonel sped into action. Using Teutonic energy, he quickly made for Scratch a brand new club. Not of wood, but of solid lead. One of the heaviest, most malleable metals commonly used by man. Thus armed, Bleep and Scratch hurriedly followed the footprints to rescue their little friend. Suddenly, they were upon him. There was the great insect sprinkling salt on the poor wooden puppet who lay bound on a huge platter. This was a time for quick thinking and fast action. With caveman strength, Scratch molded his heavy but malleable metal club into a statue that looked exactly like Squeak. And as the termite turned to put away the salt, Scratch quickly substituted the metal statue for the real puppet. And at the same time, Bleep charged the statue with a bolt of... Teutonic lightning. Then the terrible termite turned, and in one hungry gulp, swallowed the charged statue. With a howl of pain, the monster leaped into the sea to cool off. But the weight of that heavy metal statue pulled him down, 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 50 fathoms under. So once again, peace was restored to Zero Zero Island. And while Scratch fashioned a new wooden club, and Colonel Bleep repaired the cuckoo clock, little Squeak snoozed soundly in his cozy little bed. Tired from his exciting adventure and completely unaware that even greater danger lay ahead.